page of Alex. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, welcome. I'm gonna skip the intro and go straight into it. Um, first things first, you're gonna need nails. You can use any nails of choice. I'm going with these. These are some stiletto nails and I got these on Amazon. Next, you're gonna need a buffer and a nail file. Buffer, any buffer will do. I use it to buff the falsies and just get them ready for the gel application. And then the file I use for my natural nails and I use a 100 and 180 grit nail file. I also use this nail stand. I have quite a few of them. They come in handy for press on nails and I use poster putty to stick the nails on them. It's amazing. And then you're gonna need some alcohol. I use 99% alcohol and I always use a spray bottle. It's so much easier for me, but you can use whatever you want, you know, to put your alcohol in. And also you're gonna need some type of lint-free wipes or lint-free pads for wiping down the nails. All right, let's get started. I'm wetting down the lint-free wipe and I'm pretty much just gonna wipe down all the nails because I already did buff the nails. I didn't show that part because you guys have seen me do that every video. So I skipped that and I wiped down every single nail really good. I get underneath the nail as well because you don't want any like dust left behind because if not, the gel won't adhere correctly. And going in with this base coat, this is by IBD. It's a pretty good base coat gel. Um, I also love the Beatles base gel. They're, they're both really good. Now applying a thin layer of that base gel. Make sure it's a thin layer because I used to go ham with this and then after I was wondering why some nails would have like lumps and it's because it would like just lump up on one side. I don't know how to explain it when it was under the LED lamp. But make sure you get the free edge as well. And then once you're done, you're gonna cure that for about 60 to 90 seconds. And then I'm gonna be using this Bio Builder Gel by Mia Secrets. It's clear. Uh, I have two other options that I also use. That um, um, This one in Hype Builder Gel is uh, more affordable. And then there's the IBD Hard Gel Builder Gel as well that you can use. I'm just giving you guys some options. All right, so with the Builder Gel, you're gonna apply it a thin layer, okay, thin. And the reason why I added this step to my press-on nails is because it makes the nails not flimsy, like less flimsy, and I just love it. So apply this to every nail, and don't forget the free edge, you guys. And then you're gonna cure it for about two minutes. Once they're cured, you are going to wipe them down using alcohol. And then I'm gonna separate three nails, which is thumb, the middle finger, and the pinky. And I'm using this Amaiety gel, and this is in the number 22. It's a beautiful, like, nude pink or pinky nude. It's such a pretty color. And I apply this to every nail. Well, not every, the three nails that I separated and the free edge. And pretty much I cured this for about 60 seconds. This polish color is so pretty, you guys. I love it. I just wanna let y'all know that I am not a professional nail tech, just in case somebody wanna come for me. <laughs> All right, here I am applying a second coat of that same polish. And I do this because it was like very transparent still, so I wanted just a little more color to it. And again, grabbing every free edge and making sure I get it nice and even. If you're worried about the products and not knowing what they are, I will definitely put everything down in the description box below. Also, back to the nail. After this, you're gonna cure it for another 60 seconds once you're done with the free edge. I'm already in love with this set and I'm not even done. All right, I'll be using this IBD top coat, but I do have the other option for you guys to use and this is a Beatles top coat. If you want something more on the affordable side, this is a great one to use. And you're gonna apply that to all the nails, including the free edge, don't forget the free edges. And yeah, if you guys hear any noises in the background, it is Lucas. <laughs> if you guys are liking this video so far, make sure you guys hit that like button and show your girls some love. All right, back to the nails. So while applying this top coat, make sure you get the free edge. I only keep saying this because a lot of people complain about the polish peeling. So do that to avoid it. And then you're gonna cure this for 120 seconds and then you're gonna put those nails away and use these tip guides. I got these on Amazon. I already did a nail, so I am just gonna use that as like where I want to pretty much put the tip guide. And then I'm gonna win with this base coat. I'm gonna apply this to the nail bed part 
and then you're gonna cure this for obviously 60 seconds and then after that you're gonna apply this builder gel once again this is the one that is by Maya Mia Secrets Mia Secrets I can't believe I keep forgetting the name when I just showed it <laughs> and then you cure that for about two minutes and then going back in with the gel polish by Amaili in the number 22 you're gonna apply that you're pretty much gonna follow the same steps you did before with the other ones. Just now you're doing half of a nail. I'm blabbing away and forgot to tell you guys that I'm on the second coat of this polish. And then I cure that for about 60 seconds and then I move on to the top coat. And I'm actually using the Beatles top coat here. And then after that, I pretty much cure for 120 seconds and remove the tip guide. And then I am gonna start um, the same process again with the base coat. I'm sorry that I'm just all over the place with this video It was kind of hard to film this actually and I cure that for 60 seconds and then I'm going in with the um, Builder gel and that's what I'm doing here and I do not cure the builder gel just yet after I apply it here I'm just applying it really good and then I move on to dried flowers and I got these, these are from Amazon. I go for the pink flowers that are like regular size and then I go for like the little tiny ones that come in a bunch and I use like purple and green. You can use whatever colors you'd like. I use this jar thing to put them all in. That way it's easier for me to just grab them and apply them on the nail. And I did wet them down with alcohol. For some reason, these little dry flowers are hard as hell. So yeah, I wet them down and then I use my finger pretty much to just like push them into the builder gel. I hope that that makes sense. <laughs> Let me tell you, dried flowers, they are not easy to work with at all. I gotta give it to all you nail techs out there for real. But yeah, when I apply the um, dried flowers, I pretty much just scatter them around and try to make it as pretty as possible and not so cluttered or anything with like too many flowers. That's why I keep it very simple. Maybe pick like two or three different little colors, but not more than that because then it just looks crazy. But yeah, once I apply that, I go in with some gold flakes, which I also got on Amazon. And I just put them in like anywhere that there's like little blank spaces. And then I cure that for about two minutes and then I take it out and I apply more builder gel on top of that. I apply a good amount because the dried flowers stick up a little bit. So you wanna cover it really good, like encapsulate it. Guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you like what you see and share this video with friends and family. All right, so now you are going to cure for two minutes and then you're gonna apply another layer of builder gel. I'm only applying another layer because I could still feel like the bumps from the dried flower and you don't want to feel that you want it to be pretty even. So once you cure that for another two minutes, you're going to spray it and then wipe it down so that you get that tacky layer off the nail from the builder gel. And then you are going to file. I forgot to tell you guys about that in the beginning. You're going to file the builder gel half only, not the t other top part. And you're going to file it until it evens out where it's nice and smooth, pretty much. And um, that's why I applied another layer of the builder gel, just because of the filing. Then you wipe the nail down, get all that dust off, and you're going to apply a top coat, which I'm using the Beatles top coat. And I love that top coat. I'm sorry. Some people don't, but I do. Then you're going to cure that for 120 seconds. And then now you're going to apply top coat to the other half of the nail. That's something that I forgot to say, say, <laughs> to say before too. I work on one half and then I work on the other half of the nail. It's just easier for me. And that is it, you guys. This is the finished product. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed recording it. Make sure you hit like, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified when I upload a new video. Bye.